Hi paint pouring people, Karen Goodrich here. Today I'm going to do a landscape pour. And before I get started, I wanted to talk about the composition rule of thumb for landscapes. Doesn't matter whether it's photography or painting. The general rule of thumb is your horizon line should either be about a quarter to one third from the top, which would be a high horizon line, or a quarter to one third from the bottom, which would be a low horizon line. You can see from this painting that I did a few years ago that it is a high horizon line. So that means that the subject matter is basically the land and the sky is just, uh, I guess, second fiddle. So, and also the, the two paintings behind me are have high horizon lines. But today I'm going to do a 16 by 20 painting with a low horizon line. So that means that the painting is going to be more about the sky and the land is going to be just at the bottom, quarter to one third of the way. Now again, you can put your horizon line right down the middle, but I don't recommend it because it's not about right or wrong, it's about more interesting or less interesting. So let's do the low horizon line today. Okay, let's get started. Okay, this is my happy medium paint. I have a, a number of colors set out that I might want to use. These are my much loved bottles of happy medium paint. It's my own mixture of paint ready to pour. You can actually order it at happymedium.fun. And obviously we'll send out brand new clean bottles. But I, I just, um, you can see I use the heck out of, out of my happy medium paint. Anyway, I have got, as I said, a number of colors setting out. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do. I have a pretty good idea. The ground is going to be more of an earth tone and I'm going to pour um, lines and, we're, and I'm gonna do a swipe. So let me just get started with the ground and we'll get something going here. The, that is Cocoa Crisp. And then I always like to throw some gold in. The swipe color on, on this bottom part is going to be black because I just want the, I want the ground to be nice and dark and the sky to be light. I have Bluebird here for the sky. I'm gonna sprinkle it around. I don't want the sky to be too dark of a blue. I wanna be, I'm, I'm imagining a lot of white in the sky. So it's kind of a light sky, but it does need obviously to be blue. To be blue. So I'm gonna sprinkle that around and I'm gonna sprinkle around some pearl sparkly cloud, which is a nice kind of a neutrally thing. This will fill in some of the gaps to get this sky color going when I swipe it. Again, we'll see how this comes out. I have something in mind and you just never, you just never know. And for some, a little variety in the blue, instead of just using one single kind of blue, I'm gonna throw in a little Southwest turquoise just in a few places there. Okay. All right, now I, this is, I gotta throw this in. This is Aztec orange. I love this color. So I'm gonna throw this in just on one part of the ground. So everything's not the same. And then what I am imagining here is maybe a little sunrise. So I'm gonna put some pink down here. Again, I'm not gonna go all the way across with it. I'm just painting the picture before I start swiping. And we'll see what happens. Okay, here comes the white. This is what I'm gonna swipe with. I want to make sure I have plenty of paint. 
you can see the white is a little different than the sparkly cloud. You can see the difference. The sparkly cloud is just a little more grayish, kind of a neutral, but it's really a nice, a nice color to use. Okay, in addition to the pink, I'm going to add a touch of yellow because that will look kind of sunrisey as well. I don't want to do too much. I can always add more later. So there's some yellow and pink. Okay, now my tool I'm going to use, I'm going to swipe this. I have my big offset spatula. This is my, it's actually a kitchen tool. I, I'm going to use this and swipe the sky upward. And we'll see what happens. I have some other tools that I might use. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to drag, yeah, yeah I'm going to drag the whole thing from the white horizon line on up. Of course, my bottles are always in my way, no matter what. Okay, here we go, this last part here. Okay, there's the sky. The sail's coming up. It's kind of, kind of a fun look. I'm gonna, I'm gonna swipe the ground, and then we'll do any adjustments after I swipe the, the land part. So here we go from the black down. I'm not gonna wipe my spatula off in between. I'm gonna let it sort of mush together. Now I'm going to go across. I tend to like a, a, a mountainous kind of horizon line, but you may like something that's totally flat. Now I have a smaller spatula. This is actually a, a painting spatula. It's a whole bind, really, really high quality tool. I used to use this when I would plain air paint in, in oil Year, many years ago. It's, it's really a nice tool. The, um, the kitchen stuff is a little more rudimentary, which is suitable for pouring, but I'm gonna see, uh, see what I can do and do a little something um, on the lower horizon and see what happens here. Just gonna go back and forth and smooth this out a little bit, drag some of this color over into the white. Sort of moving as I go to, so it's not just a straight line. That's kind of, kind of like that. I'm gonna keep going. I like that. It has a, a little more of a wispy look than the the first pass I made with the big with the big uh, spatula. A little softer, I guess. See, the more you swipe, the the smaller the cells will be, which is fine for what I'm doing here. I'm looking for a little more of a blended look. This uh, this big cell here kind of bugs me. I'm gonna I'm gonna mess with that and see if that can soften that up a little bit. 
See, that changed the horizon line, which actually is okay. It's a little bit of a, of a harsh line here, so I'm going to mess with this, see if I can soften this a little bit. Because remember, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the painting from close up, but when paintings are hanging on the wall, generally people, people uh, view paintings from about six or eight feet away. So if you have a soft line, it may look, uh, it may look funny from up close, but it's going to look just right if this painting is hanging on the wall. The other thing I want to do is the blue kind of stops and starts in the same place. So I want to change that a little bit. I, I kind of like what's going on here. But I'm going to try and pull some of this blue down just over on this side. Just to change the, the line here. You can see it's the blue is coming down now. There's less of a line. That seems a little little harsh to me here too, so I'll drag some of this white up. So you can just keep messing with this. If there's something that bothers you that doesn't look natural, just keep going. Okay, I've been focused on, on how the sky looks. I, I kind of like what's going on here, but I look down here at the land and it's pretty dark and pretty a pretty harsh distinction between uh, the land and the sky. So I'm thinking about trying to, I'm going to work on the land now. And my first idea here is to create a, another layer here of distance. And I'm going to put some purple in just part way. And since this is kind of detailish work, I'm going to use my small spatula Let some of that drag off the edge. I got plenty of paint on here, so. And I'm, I'm softening it too. If you'll notice, um, I started out way down here with this land color and it sort of creeps up because the more you mess with it the more the higher it tends to go so that's why I started out a little low and then I, there's still plenty of room to to uh, mess with this land without it you know ending up way up here So this purple gave it another layer. Okay, so I like what I did here with the purple. It kind of softens the transition between the land and the sky. And I'm going to do something over here to soften the, the transition from the black to the sky. I'm going to pour some sparkly cloud just in this top part here. See if I can blend this in and soften the whole thing. Just making some kind of details here. I don't know, it kind of looks like there's some snow back there on the mountain or something. Actually, see, it looks more like distance now, and this looks more like foreground. This is where you need some transition here. So I actually kind of like that. In fact, I might even drag this purple around a little bit, to see if...
kind of break up that, that situation there. Okay, I was looking for something and I got it. What I was, what my problem was, was this uh, transition was a little, it's too dark to light. So I softened this with the purple. It makes it look like there's a distant, another layer of mountain back there. And then over here, this kind of reminds me of melting snow. And you still can tell that it's land. And you can still tell that there's a, a transition from the land to the sky. But they're all, see, all different. So you've got foreground, you've got some distance here and different type of distance here and then you go on up to the sky remember these are loose paintings so you're not going to you know draw in a little uh, stick figure or a, anything um, I like to keep them very atmospheric and I think this one is going to be okay so I'm going to stop with this painting right here okay so that is my low horizon big sky landscape and I sell all of my paintings and my demos on Etsy. Check out the link, it's karen.etsy.com or you can just go to Etsy, search for my name. I also have all my links below of my social media. Also my Amazon shopping list where I have all my favorite paint pouring supplies listed. And don't forget to go to happymedium.fun and try some of my paint ready to pour. I really, really appreciate your business and uh, also check out my Facebook group called Paint Pouring People. Post your pictures of the, of the landscapes that you do. Thanks, I hope you enjoyed this and we will see you next time.